Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Danielle Meyer, for this story. Boy, it just seems like this mice infestation in Australia just goes from bad to worse. You think after hearing it all this time, you would think, okay, well, how much worse can it get? Well, you're about to find out. So this is the New York Post, June 22nd, 2021. Massive mice infestation forces Australian prison to evacuate. They had to move the inmates because the mice are overrunning the prison. <laughs> Woo, they can't get control over this thing, y'all. They just can't do it. They can't do it. A massive horde of mice has caused so much damage in eastern Australia that authorities are being forced to evacuate an entire prison. The plague of pesky rodents have gnawed uh, electrical wires and covered the Wellington Correctional Center in New South Wales with feces and dead mice, prompting authorities to relocate 420 inmates and 200 staffers. The health, safety, and well-being of staff and inmate is our number one priority. So it's important for us to act now to carry out the <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but this has gone on for so long. All right. So they're carrying out the viral recommendation work, correctional service uh, services uh, commissioner Peter Severn said on Tuesday, the mice have got into the wall cavities into the roof spaces, Severn told the Australia Broadcast Corporation. They're dead, but they started obviously decaying. And then the next problem are mites. Oh, man. Oh, man. I bet you it smells horrible in here with rotting uh, mice carcasses. Oh, I bet it smells horrendous. Ah, I couldn't imagine that. The prison isn't the only place dealing with the mice mess. They said the swarm of mice has chewed through wiring and ceiling panels of the Australian prison. Millions of rodents have popped up in the rural Australian region, chewing through crops and making their way into homes, businesses, and even schools. Mm -mm -mm. Some instances, residents have reported being bitten in bed by mice. I don't see how they could do it. I, there's no way. I wouldn't get in a bed, if, especially if I know I was going to get chewed up by mice. Why are you even getting in the bed? Wow. Somewhere along the line, you're just going to have to get out of there. 
I mean, how are you going to stay there? And there's millions. And on top of that, in the last article I did, they're breeding. Wow. Mm. Severn. Um, okay. Said the problem in the prison is worse in buildings not made of concrete with more mice getting in and leaving damaged wires and a horrible stench. Authorities now hope that in addition to repairing the damage, once the prison is cleared out, uh, they can figure out a way to mice-proof the facility. Mm -mm -mm. He said the prisoners and staffers will be moved to various facilities around the country over the next 10 days. Well, I don't see how, you know, okay, so you kill the ones in the building, but what do you do about the millions that are still running around outside that are potentially going to get in there? And you know what, y'all? I don't care what kind of mice proofing they do. Trust me, they're going to get in there. They're going to get in there again. Ah, that's just my opinion. But damn, this has gone on since February. And now, I mean, how do you even work or you can't literally they're keeping the country at least that part of the country the east side of the country from doing anything how do you send your kids to a school that's infested with millions of mice running around all over the place and you can't go to your job and you can't do nothing until this thing pretty much die out but what the hell is wrong with some of you that are laying down and allowing mice to bite you all night I mean, come on. You know, I know some people are struggling and don't have a lot. That country should have set up facilities for people to go to, just like a hurricane. So you can sleep without mice crawling all over you all night long. I just don't think I can take that. And on top of that, they said the people are showing signs of sickness. There are people that are walking around since all of this has happened with flu-like symptoms. And they said, you know, just being around these mice for the last several months is causing people to get sick. And those illnesses can get very serious because let's face it, these mice carry a lot of disease. Wow. Y'all tell me what you think about this one. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.